Guys, no shock value means no adrenaline means no nothing. Okay? Now, this is a very controversial topic. I mean, every every aspect of of what people like is based around this one little thing, which is shock value. That's all it really is. And it comes in many forms, you know? Like, a singer can either sing a heavy metal song, a rap song, you know, or, you know, some pop feminine dance club hit or something like that, you know what I mean? It's like some very nice anti-violence, anti-war tone stuff, you know, where it's like, let's just party and have a good time. I'm not mad at the world or mad at myself or mad because I never had a father I'm not mad because I'm poor and then it's in, and, and now I'm aggressively trying to work to the top of the, the rapper food chain. I don't have to do any of that. I don't need to relate to, to you through my, my sense of poverty and then become famous and then have, make you feel empowered because I was a person just like you. And that's why you're my fan because I'm just like you. But look at me. I'm rich. I made a baby. We are friends. What kind of scam is that? What kind of hustle is that? You know, but anyways. Good music is good music. Good movies are good movies. And if you're in the mood, it's going to work out for you. You know what I mean? But I personally can't see myself in my current condition ever listening to some kind of heartbreak song ever again. Like, I just can't see myself going into that mode. It just seems too corny. Do I really need a song to ease the pain? Do I just, I need someone out, out there to, to share this <laughs> humiliation, outrage. I'm embarrassed. I got cheated on, but but yeah, you get the point. But shock value, you know, it's kind of like if I was a person just sitting here doing nothing at all, literally, like you were basically just watching a mall camera or you know a, a street camera of cars going by, and that's all it really was. I mean, you could put some jazz music in, and then it's ca like some casual viewing going on I actually enjoy some stuff like that from time to time i like some different kind of stuff. i checked out a lot of different stuff you know i was watching a live cam of a beach just a live cam of a beach it was really it's really cool though it's like man hey there's a beach i haven't been to a beach in a long time and it's just just kind of just cool some relaxing music beach you know it's like hey i can combine these two different live streams of this music and this live stream of the beach wow we are in business baby we're mixing stuff or just pull up like two gaming streams at once and just have the audio on one playing. And people are crazy. Let's play video games and watch someone play video games at the same time. In fact, let's 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 pull up fifty different screens of people playing video games. That's the shock value that I need because that's what it really is, isn't it? Isn't that the funny thing? Like when you're playing a video game and something happens and it's just hilarious, or you know, that, that's how it starts at least. I remember when I first started to play video games, they were so funny. It was so funny to play a video game. And then now it's like, it's funny, but you might have to quit playing for a little bit for it to be really funny. You know what I mean? If you play every day, you're going to get little bursts here and there, but maybe you need to get off the crack pot and, you know, I don't know, go, go to a massage parlor and, you know, I don't know, beef up, beef up the old macaroni beefcakes up there and hike up your skirt a little bit, whatever you need to do, you know, comb it out, comb it out, comb, comb out the stress, comb out the stress. But, you know, that's what it really is, man. Like, a personality. And that's why, that's, that's what you see in, in a personality when you have energy and stuff. It's really like shock value. And, um, and, you know, maybe I'm just referencing shock value in kind of a new way that maybe people don't normally hear it spoken. And honestly, I don't know if people are even interested in talking about this stuff. But I think it's interesting, like, what shock value is and how I'm kind of talking about it. Because... I think that to a certain extent, you have to have some kind of dose of violence or climatic, you know, there, there has to be some controversy, some violence, some, some, some tension, some sexual tension, some, some different stuff going on. And when you take it to the extreme, it's almost like then you're in reality and it gets gross. It gets, it gets too real, you know, like violence in real life is terrible. You know, sex in real life is terrible. You know, um, me in real life is terrible. <laughs> I, that's why I don't I don't want to real live in real life so much. I want to come here and just live in this whole kind of clean cut version of myself and project myself in an energetic, energetic format that people might find interesting. 
You know what I mean? And it doesn't always work all the time, but but you get what I'm saying. It's it's um if I were to just sit here and you literally just seen me and a fly whiz past my face and you know, you just hear the air conditioner in the background. I'm literally not even looking at anything. Like, I sure it could be an entertainment, but, you know, it's like staring at a wall. Like, there's really nothing to see there. It's, there's no, there's nothing that's really getting you excited. Like, when you're in, if you're in chased by someone with a knife, and they're about to kill you, that's entertaining, but it's real. You know, like, like, you know, it's, it's not entertaining because it's real. But if it's in a video game, then somehow it can be entertaining to certain people because it's like, oh, my God, it's almost like I'm getting chased by a knife, but I'm not. If this person actually stabs me in this video game, then I, I don't actually die. Wow, that's so great, isn't it? Like, what the hell is wrong with everybody? But I, I guess it's just human. It's kind of in our nature, you know, for us monkeys to get access to computers and video games and just be like so amazed that we get addicted until you grow up and then, you know, I don't know, you might get some weird interest like me. I, I need to buy a, a guitar to reboot my teenage dream of being a rock star. I did have a dream of that. I never dreamed of being a comedian when I was younger. I dreamed of being a rock star, a singer. I wanted to be a singer in a band. Uh, and then I was like a producer, like, and then I kind of rap. Rap came in at some point, but I was kind of like electronic music. And then, uh, you know, I was always like a gamer, though. We were always a gamer. I think I think my main goal in life was to get a bag of weed. You know, that that was probably the main goal. But yeah, I was troubled. I was very troubled. Well, I guess this wasn't nothing, so it's better than nothing. I guess that's that's the best way to put it. <laughs>